guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at one of my undisclosed locations because guess what? We have one heck of a truck. This is a 2020 GMC Sierra Denali. And before we dive into this half ton pickup truck, I want to talk about what GMC really means and what they stand for. So GMC, General Motors Truck Company, really for so many decades was just about trucks, obviously. Now, over the years, they've grown and expanded their lineup, but one thing that they do, and they still believe that they do better than anybody else, is the pickup truck. With this 2020 Sierra, this particular one is a Denali, which is gonna be that top level trim. It's gonna bring a lot of luxury to the exterior and especially the interior, but this one is also a Denali Carbon Pro. That means that this has the truck industry's first carbon fiber bed. So that bed actually weighs 25% less than a steel bed. But one thing is for certain, with this Sierra Denali, you're really getting the utmost in four x four capability. It's got the 6.2 liter V8, so plenty of power and then special touches like that six position folding tailgate. So let's go ahead, dive into this Denali Carbon Pro and see really is this the ultimate of that luxury style pickup truck. Right off the bat, when you go Denali, you better have some really good sunglasses on because you're getting a lot of bling. Up front, you're gonna have full LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and LED fog lamps. Now you'll notice a lot of chrome on the interior yeah, that multi-level LED setup. I do love the shape of the daytime running lamp, a nice C-shape. And the way the front fascia kind of interlocks nicely, super clean styling, definitely GMC, unmistakable brand identity. Now, when we drop down, you're gonna get a functional side air curtain. There's our LED fog lamps, a little bit of gloss black, but what you're getting tenfold is that extra chrome. Now, remember, for 2019, this truck just like the sister truck, the Silverado, got a total redesign. What I've always liked about the GMC Sierra, the redesign much, much cleaner, especially when you think about transformers in the Silverado. Now, as we go across the Denali grill, this is specific to this trim. This is where you're really gonna get the most shine, all that chrome, the GMC name prominently displayed with that nice cherry red color. My only zonk is this gap here is non-functional. It's just a gap. You do have a forward-facing camera. I like the texture of the grill, but it is a lot of chrome. As we drop down, we have the optional pearlescent white paint, sparkles like a diamond in this Florida sun, more chrome. So I, I, I'm thinking that when you go to Denali, you get a pair of GMC sunglasses to really protect your eyes, because I'm telling you, this thing is bright. Massive chrome tow hooks, and then like I said, this particular one, four by four setup on. Now, as we rise up and we look into the hood, I do like the strong, powerful lines, especially the way it goes towards the, the windshield. Very, very nicely done. Nothing too crazy on the styling. And another thing that's very unique about GMC overall is there's a lot of angles in their styling. Like when you look at the grill, the way the grill is angled around, really nice touch. Now, when we come around the bend, a little bit of flat black. So you have some flat black just around the fender treatment. This one has the optional gloss black wheels really fit well with our pearlescent white paint this is a 22 inch wheel you're looking at 275 on the width and a nice meaty 50 series sidewall but i love the design of it the gloss black really sits well with this particular truck you can see that angle cut that i was telling you about if you look at the silverado that's more of a rounded cut this has the angles which i think gives it great brand identity now when we get back up to the fender you do have a nice fender badge Carbon Pro with the 6.2 liter. So it's got the biggest V8 that they have available with the GMC name stamp there. A Little bit of chrome on the mirror cap with a little bit of flat black. You do have cameras all over this thing. So you can either use it as a truck or you can use it as a home surveillance system with all these cameras, but it's really showing the technology side that's available for this Denali. We have our chrome Denali badge, chrome door handles, and then of course you have your automatic dropping running boards with the chrome. Those are gonna tuck back in, love them. Whoever invented these, I wanna give them a big fat hug because I really think that it keeps the clean lines, but when you need it, it drops down. The best part is, is where on the corner here, how you could step into the bed of the truck there and get into the back. Now, as you work towards the rear, 
you'll notice the nice chrome trim, nice and thick. We have a low roof spoiler, and you can see that angle cut here on the cab. Now, this is a crew cab. This, knock, knock, is that metal? No, this is a carbon fiber bed. So for 2019, all swinging doors, whether it be the actual doors of the cab or our tailgate are made out of aluminum, that's gonna shed over 250 pounds from the previous generation Sierra. This one with the carbon fiber bed, it's another almost 100 pounds that we're shedding. As we work our way back, you can see the frame set up. Those wheels, optional wheels, look really, really crisp on this white example. And when we get to the back, some other changes that were for 2019, they widen the amount of space on each corner so you could get that steel toe boot and really get in there. Maybe you're wearing a pair of clown shoes, you could get it to fit in perfectly. I do like the LED tail lights, the way it has a nice C shape to it. And then when we get to the back of the tailgate, there is that revolutionary. Not only do we have a revolutionary carbon fiber bed, but the first ever six position tailgate. Before I drop that down and show the magic, I do like the decorative tr uh, trim rings for the exhaust, the way they blend in nicely into the rear bumper. Of course, you got all your toe hook up nice and high out of the mud and then the Denali badge. Now here's how it works. You could do this many different ways. So if say you wanna go to Home Depot, go to Lowe's and get some lumber, you got the lumber sticking out the back, you could have a nice bump stop if you need. We could fold this back in, put this back up. Obviously the truck, you could have your normal tailgate. Slide things, slide out. I feel like I'm doing a little, little jazzercise or something. No music playing. But here's the great news. This one actually has the optional, which I'm doing it wrong because I was thinking about jazzer size. What's great about this is that this one has the optional speaker system. So we're gonna hit the button right here. A Little hard to find, but once you find it, flip that down. This has the optional kicker sound system. So you have your USB set up right here, plug it in your aux jack, and then you have your volume controls and the two kicker speakers. My only zonk is, I think the name of the brand, which has been around for years, is actually going to play out what's going to happen. These are going to get kicked as you get in and out of the bed of the truck. I really feel like they're going to get kicked. Now, the good news is you have this beautiful step system, but to help with the step is that you actually lift this up and you get a nice sturdy pole there that's going to allow you to climb in and out of the truck. On the other side, I don't know if Crown Vic showed off the power source right in the bed of the truck. Really, really great. Look at that. So you got your power source. Also, let me show off how you have tons of tie down locations at the rear, at the front, LED lighting, the carbon fiber bed, not only lighter, but it's an extra cubic feet of space. That really shows the flexibility. And then the back of the cab, you can see you got your power sliding rear window but while we go ahead i'm going to get this all folded back together we're going to pop the hood and check out the 6.2 liter v8 engine all right guys we got the hood pop massive hood underneath that massive hood we have massive power so that's a 6.2 liter ecotech v8 420 horsepower 460 pound feet of torque it's all made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission and like i said earlier this does have four by four capability Zero to 60, 5.7 seconds, quarter mile, 14.1. Very respectable from a truck that weighs 5,200 pounds. It could tow up to 13,400 pounds. MPGs, 15 in the city, 20 on the highway. I think what makes this Sierra so great is just how many different ways you could trim it and how many different engines. Because remember, you have turbo diesel option, you have a smaller V8, I say go big or go home, go with the 6.2 liter. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire it up and hear what this V8 sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Sierra Denali Carbon Pro. I know you're asking yourself, Joe, how much is this? This truck is killer. I love the look. I love the idea of a carbon fiber bed, first time ever in a pickup truck. That six position tailgate. 
How much is it? You're looking at a price of $74,000 MSRP. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panel. You'll see nice soft trim at the top, very simplistic in design, big heavy duty armrest. You have some wood trim there, a little bit of silver chrome finish, large door pocket for two bottles of Coca-Cola and a Chipotle burrito with extra guac. Remember guac does cost extra. Bose sound system. We get to the dash. You do have a nice grab handle to pull yourself in. Soft touch material. Of course, you have your two glove boxes. You can put your Twinkies up here. Put all your healthy food down here for the long, hard days at work. I'm loving this aluminum style trim here. I wish they would have used this more. Probably the biggest zonk is going to be the smaller screen. It seems that everybody is moving away from an 8-inch screen. The good news is, is that it's very simple to use, very fast reacting. So you are going to have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's our navigation. Easy to get through. You go back to home. Another thing that I like about the GMC trucks and whatnot is the trailering. So you hit trailer. We get started. You can tell them what type of checklist you want. We want conventional. And then you could actually check off when you do these things so that you don't forget anything. Don't want to be going down the highway in your trailer disconnects from your vehicle. That's not a fun time. Climate control, easy to get into. Super clear graphics. Cameras, you like cameras? We got cameras. We got them wholesale. Look at that. There's our GMC Sierra full 360 view. We can see those beautiful 22 inch wheels. Make sure we cleaned them nice. Got a nice shine on them. We can go even out back when you got the trailering hookup and whatnot. But very, very easy to navigate with all of these different camera. Uh, oh, I like this one out in the bed. That's when you can see if anybody's creeping on you, somebody's sleeping in your bed. You can check it out before you drive away. Tow hook, hook uh, hitch, you can back up very nicely. Speaking of backup, let me throw it into reverse. And there's our backup camera, super clear. Love how clear the graphics are. Put it back in the park. You got your home button. We slide down, you got dual climate control, nice toggle switches, and then they got your cover connectivity. Home power source, 12 volt USB, USB-C, wireless charging, a cubby for your Twizzlers. My only complaint is I wish there was a lid. So I am gonna zonk that. You do have your start stop button though. Let me close those up. Two massive cup holders, another place for some Slim Jims. Soft on the armrest. You got a nice little grippy panel to put your phone here. Open this up and then guess what? Bombs away, you could put all your softballs in there. So if you've been juggling your, your balls all day, you could put your softballs in there. USB, USB-C, and it's wall bolt seats. Love the Denali embroidery, soft leather, and you can see the two-tone. It's a darker chocolate with some gray. Really looks nice. Of course, you're gonna get power assist for the driver and the passenger. And the great news is heated and ventilated seats. Standard size sunroof, that's gonna be a zonk. I wish it was panoramic, but here's something that is killer every time I look at it. No, it's not Victor. But when we do this, so you have that beautiful camera technology, super clear. You could watch that. It's almost like watching a movie. And then you can flip it back and you got mirror again. That's the type of technology you get in this Denali that you're not going to find in a lot of other trucks. Come on over, though, behind the wheel, the business end of this Sierra Denali Carbon Pro. All right, guys, business time. You have two memory seat settings up here for the driver. I do like, let me get my towel out of here. That's when we have our eargasms. But we have our Denali badge, nice silver trim, beautiful carpets. Really love the way the seat controls are easy to get to. You got that lower lumbar. Steering wheel, nice thickness. There's more of that aluminum trim. It's got the Denali name. And look at this, there's your grill. There's your front, front grill right on your horn button. You have uh, flat black on the buttons. Column shift, which I wish they would put some leather around this. Make it feel a little bit higher end. They gave us the nice trim here on the hood of our gauges but a little leather would go a long way. Dash is straightforward. Analog tech, speedometer, and then that beautiful digital display, all the different readouts that you need that are important while you're towing. And then the great thing to finish everything off is I like where GMC puts their all uh, four by four controls. So you have four high, four low, two high, automatic, and then you got your trailer modes, real easy to get to. I got plenty of headroom in here, so that's the great news. Let's check out the back seat though and see if your passengers are gonna to wanna to live inside this Denali. All right, guys, here we are in the back seat. Now, 
If the price has been bothering you, the good news is you could use this as a mobile apartment or mobile house. Now, what I did was I lifted up the seat to show that both seats could go up and you could get large objects. You have a nice little carpeted area. Maybe put a gift for your wife in here and just give it to her whenever. Don't give it to her when you do something wrong. That's the key. You got to give it to her when you're doing everything right. And that's just icing on the cake. Seats go back down, leather all the way around, great size pocket. You could put some more gifts in here, especially if you are the type of person to make a bunch of mistakes and you need the gifts, keep them stored in there. Two large cup holders for the passengers back here. And then we have heated seats, USB, uh, excuse me, USB-C, USB and a 12 volt, two AC vents with some nice chrome trim. Seat arrangement, I got plenty of room back here. I'm telling you right now, you can sleep back here. You can sleep back here. Who needs a house? You got things you got to fix on it. This thing will go forever and you got plenty of room. And then watch this armrest, more cup holders, flip that back. You ready for it? Bam. You have storage space built into the back of the seat. That is smart. More gifts for your wife for when you're, when you're messing up. I mean, let's just face it. You're messing up. So put the gifts in there. The great news is though, look at this. I'm, I'm just chilling. And I, I don't even have the ability to adjust the seat back, but it feels good back here. Plenty of headroom. Why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's hold on to a grab handle and take this Denali Carbon Pro for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving our undisclosed location. We're in the 2020 Sierra Denali Carbon Pro with that carbon fiber bed and industry first. Right away, the great thing about this truck, it's so easy to drive, very comfortable. And it has all the great tech features that you want when you think about ventilated seats, of course, heated seats. The camera technology is great in it. May not have the greatest infotainment system screen, but the camera technology is quite phenomenal. And as you can see, navigating with it, even with it being a half ton pickup truck, easy to drive. Love the massive head up display. Lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring, all that good stuff. Another thing I think that's smart with the way GMC shapes their side mirrors. They don't look like just rectangular billboards. They actually have some design element to it, which is really nice. Room is a plenty up front here, and you're definitely gonna get plenty of power from that 6.2 liter V8 engine, naturally aspirated V8, super smooth on that throttle response. Nice, clean shifts by the 10 speed. It's like you don't even know when it's shifting. And going over bumps and stuff, the ride in this Sierra Denali is really, really well done. Brakes feel good. Good steering feel overall as well. I wanna do a little acceleration test here really to showcase the 6.2 liter V8. I have the traction control off right now. So here we go on throttle, little bit of spin. She grabs and we're off and running. So really nicely done on the acceleration, the quick shifts. Obviously without the traction control, you're gonna spin the tires a little bit like we did, but I wanted to show you that on purpose, what it was like with the traction control off. Let me go ahead. I'm going to turn the traction control back on and that is going to adjust for wheel spin. So once again, on throttle, just a little bit, but then you're really off and running. Really, really respectable zero to 60 times in a truck that weighs as much as this one does. Great feel from the steering. Back on throttle, here we go. You got that great naturally aspirated V8 sound. Really smooth ride, I'm telling you, this really changes your thoughts of what a truck is all about. I remember when I was a kid, my dad had a Ranger long bed pickup truck with all I had of it was a bench seat up front and a heater. So this really just takes it to a new level when it comes to ride quality and all the features. Is it perfect? No, but there is no perfect truck. But definitely, I'm very curious to see where GMC is gonna take this overall design, especially on the interior. I think they did such a bang up job 
on the exterior is just little fine touches. It's like fine tuning a violin. I think you'd get a very you know, musical melody out of this thing with just some touches here and there, but definitely the tech side of things with that digital rear view camera, with that great multifunctional tailgate and the carbon fiber bed, you're getting a lot of special touches on the Sierra Denali. All right guys, getting out on the highway just to show how she cruises, really just soaks up the bumps, soaks up the expansion joints. You got great visibility out the front and of course, out the back as well. And with that 6.2 liter V8, you got plenty of oomph that if you need to get on it and go, you're gone. Nicely done from GMC with this truck. It's quite impressive. I love the way it's got the checklist, especially if you're new to, to trailering or if you're not new to trailering, but you have amnesia or bad memory, guess what? The checklist come into play very nicely and all those great camera angles make it great as well. But we're gonna go ahead, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel and view of the 2020 Sierra Denali Carbon Pro. We're gonna get back to our undisclosed location and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day with this really trimmed out Sierra Denali Carbon Pro. I gotta definitely thank everybody at GMC for allowing Radies Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. It really shows what is possible when you put a little bit of ingenuity into that beautiful tailgate system, the carbon fiber bed, and then there's a lot of extra luxury. Now, of course, I would like to see a little bit, little bit larger infotainment system screen and some different changes, but I'm sure those changes are coming. But if you want the biggest and the baddest when it comes to the Sierra half ton, this really checks off all the boxes. But if you want to keep seeing large trucks on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the king of the photo world. He's conquered Canon. He's conquered Nikon. Now he's fallen in love with Sony. And there's no better relationship. So thank you, Crown Vic, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.